we are going to um, use GarageBand to change the tempo of a track that comes out of Apple Music. And this is how you do that. So I'm going to do Take 5 by Dave Brubeck. So I'm going to search for that in Apple Music. And I'm going to click here, and then I find that it is down here. Now, there's a couple things you need to make sure that you do in Apple Music before you do this. The first thing that you want to make sure of is that it's been downloaded, and you will have this little download option, but you also want to make sure you've purchased it. So you want to click these little um, dots here and sit, have it show in the iTunes Store to make sure that you've purchased it. And I can see here, here's take five, and it says that I've purchased it, so I should be good to go. So I'm gonna go back to my library, I think. Oh, and I'll search for it again. And there it is. And then I wanna make sure it's been downloaded. So I'll click the download button. And so then Take 5 has now been downloaded, so it's ready to be uh, used in GarageBand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do a new project in GarageBand, which I have opened. And I'll just click Empty Project. And it doesn't really matter what type of audio track that I use, so I'm just going to do a uh, software instrument for now. I'm not even going to be using this, this electric piano when she comes up. Um, then I will move the screen over so you guys can see. And I'm going to grab Take 5 out of Apple Music. And I'm going to pull it into GarageBand. And it's really important that you see this little green plus here. Oh. And now it's added it. But there's a few things I need to change in GarageBand before I start manipulating it. First off, I know that Take 5 is in 5, 4 meter. And I also know that it is at 165 beats per minute. And I used a tap, an app on my phone called uh, Tempo Tap to figure that out. Tempo Tap to help me figure out how to edit that. Now I'm going to delete this because I don't really need it. And then I'm going to turn off the metronome. And then you can see that Take 5 will play in GarageBand. And there it is. Now, to be able to manipulate the tempo on this, um, I'm going to double click this region here, the actual track. Double click it here. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to click this button here, the Show Hide Flex. So I'm going to turn on Flex. And that's what allows me to edit the tempo. So now it should, so now here's this at the tempo that Dave Brubeck recorded this at. Now if I want to decrease the tempo, I could go down to, let's say, 120, and listen, it's going to slow down. I can slow down or speed up the tempo in GarageBand of a audio file or an audio track that's been uh, imported somehow into Apple Music. This is an incredibly in wonderful application um, when you rehearse with students. 
A lot of times kids struggle with the tempo of rehearsal track, so slowing it down a little bit at the beginning and then gradually increasing the tempo until you're at the correct tempo is nice. You can also change the tempo to whatever you as the director would prefer, so that's also a nice feature. Um, it does start to get a little distorted um, as you go a little bit slower, so I'm going to take it down to say 90. Bring it over there. And then even below 90, it probably would get would get rough. But that it also depends on the tempo that you started with, too. So I'll take it back to, I can, it can go faster, too. So let me show you up to 200. That tempo was 165. it. It's a really cool little trick that you can do with um, GarageBand to adjust the tempo. This also works with pitch as well. Um, so if I wanted to take it up a little higher, I'll take it to the regular tempo now and take it over to where just about where the saxophone starts. Or I could bring it down. Really nice little tools to manipulate files here. So, have fun!